Forgive me. Forgive me. Heavenly King Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who are present everywhere and feeding all things, the treasure of blessings and source of life, come, abide in us, cleanse of all stain, and save our souls, O good God. Heavenly King Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who are present everywhere and feeding all things, the treasure of blessings and source of life, come, Abide in us, cleanse us of all stain, and save our souls, O Lord. Heavenly King Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who are present everywhere and feeling all things, the treasure of blessings and source of life, come, abide in us, cleanse us of all stain, and save our souls, O Lord. Glory to God in the highest heaven and peace on earth to men who enjoy his favor. Glory to God in the highest heaven, and peace on earth to men who enjoy his favor. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will speak out your praise. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. In peace let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and the salvation of our souls, let us pray. Bye. 
Ελεύθεστε ημέραν εξ ημέρου το σωτήριο του Θεού. Yes. 
Let us be attentive. My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. Wisdom. For he is regarding the lowest state of his handmaiden. For behold, henceforth, all generations shall call me blessed. Wisdom. The reading is from St. Paul's letter to the Hebrews. Let us be attentive. Brethren. He who sacrifices, and those who are sanctified have all one origin. That is why he is not ashamed to call the brethren, saying, I will proclaim my name to my brethren in the midst of the congregation. I will praise thee. And again, I will put my trust in him. And again, here am I, and the children God has given me. Since therefore the children shed the flesh and blood, he himself likewise partook of the same nature, that through death he might destroy him who has the power of death, that is, the devil, and deliver all those who through fear of death would subject to life or bondage. For surely it is not with, the, with angels that he is concerned, but with the descendants of Abraham. Therefore, he had to be made like his brethren in every respect, so that he might become a merciful and faithful high priest in the service of God, to make expiation for the sins of the people. For because he himself has suffered and been tempted, he is able to help those who are tempted. Peace be to your reader. And for five months she hid herself, saying, Thus the Lord has done to me in the days when he looked on me to take away my reproach among men. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Rejoice, O favored one, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. But she was greatly troubled at the saying and considered in her mind what sort of greeting this might be. And the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give to him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. And Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no husband? And the angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born of you will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, your kinswoman Elizabeth, in, in her old age, has also conceived a son, and this is the sixth month with her who was called barren. For with God, nothing will be impossible. And Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. Let it be to me according to your word. <clears throat> and the angel 
departed from us. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. And grant that always guarded by your power, we may give glory to you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Now and forever and the end.
brought us into being out of nothing. And when we fell, you raised us up again. You did not cease doing everything until you led us to heaven and grant us your kingdom to come. For all these things, we thank you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. For all things that we know and do not know, for blessings, sin and unseen that have been bestowed upon us. We also thank you for this liturgy which you are pleased to set from our hands, even though you are surrounded by thousands of archangels and tens of thousands of angels, by the children of Seraphim, six wings, many eyes soaring with their wings, singing the victory theme, proclaiming, crying out, and saying, Body, 
of your Christ. Amen. And that which is in this cup, the precious blood of your Christ. Amen. Changing them by your Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 So that they may be with those who partake of them for vigilance of soul, forgiveness of sins, communion of your Holy Spirit, fulfillment of the kingdom of heaven, confidence before you, and nothing judgment or condemnation. Again, we offer this spiritual worship for those reposing the faith, forefathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, and for every righteous spirit made perfect in faith. Especially for our most holy, pure, blessed and glorious Lady of the Autos, and ever Virgin Mary. <laughs> Grace, 
and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Since it is not a wedding garment, and being bound up, 
I shall be blessed all by the angels. In your love, Lord, cleanse my soul and save me. Loving Master, Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let all these holy gifts be to my condemnation because of my worthiness, for the cleansing and sanctification of soul and body, and the pledge of the future life of me. It is good for me to cling to God and to place it in the hope of my salvation. Receive me today, Son of God, as a partaker of your mystical supper. I will not reveal your mystery to adversaries, nor will I give you a kiss as did Judas, but as the thief, I confess to you, Lord, remember me in the kingdom. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me.
May the blessing of the Lord and His mercy come upon you. Through His divine grace and love, always, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, O Christ, our hope. Glory to you. May Christ, our true God, as a good, loving, and merciful God, have mercy on us and save us. Through the intercession of His most pure and holy Mother, the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the honorable, bodiless powers of heaven, the supplications of the honorable, glorious prophet and Father John the Baptist, the holy, glorious, and praiseworthy apostles, the holy, glorious, and triumphant martyrs, our holy and God-bearing fathers, the holy and righteous ancestors Joachim and Anna, and of all of the saints. Amen. <clears throat> Through the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. In a world bombarded by bad news, the eternal good news of God are coming to us. The eternal evangelion, the eternal good news are coming to us. The good news that we are not alone. The good news that the eternal Son and Word of God, through whom everything was created in the beginning, is coming to become one with humanity. It's very interesting that today's feast day is named the Annunciation to the Theotokos. Why is it about the Theotokos? Because it is about the incarnation of the Son of God. Why do we make it about the Theotokos? Because us Orthodox Christians love the Theotokos and we put Christ in the second place. That is not true. <laughs> Some people might accuse us of that, but that is not true. The Annunciation was indeed done to the Theotokos. The Annunciation was indeed done to humanity. God has always had the good news. We didn't have the good news. The Theotokos stood there for the entire humanity to say, Let it be to me according to your word. Behold, the maid servant of the Lord, let it be to me according to to your word. She gave the good answer to the archangel. She gave the good answer to God for the entire humanity. And the Son of God, the Son of the Most High, as the archangel said, was conceived within her by the coming of the Holy Spirit upon her. Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are working together for the incarnation of the Son of God within Mary, within humanity. The good news, the great news is, as St. Paul says in today's epistle reading, that both he who sanctifies God, he who sanctifies, and those who are being sanctified are all of one, for which reason he is not ashamed to call them brethren. God and humanity are not separated anymore. God and humanity 
are one, we become brethren, brothers and sisters of the Son of God. That's the good news. No bad news humanity can give to us anymore because we are safe. We are one with God because God became one with us. It is the great good news, as St. Paul says again in, in today's epistle reading, that inasmuch as the children have partaken of flesh and blood, he himself, Christ, God himself, likewise shared in the same, that through death he might destroy him and the power of death, that is the devil, and release those who, through the fear of death, were all their lifetime subject to bondage. We are not afraid of death anymore. We are not subject to bondage anymore. Because we are children of God. Because the Son of God became the Son of Man. The Son of God became the Son of Man and made us children of God. We are not afraid even of death anymore. That is the great news given to us by God today. So, why should we be afraid of any bad news that are being given to us by the fallen humanity? Why should we be afraid of anything that is happening in the world if we are already, already dead and resurrected with Christ and we are not afraid of anything, even of death anymore. Is that not great news? Is that not lifting us, lifting us up from this world and making us indeed blessed, Macarius raised above? the politics and the tragedies of this world. By the grace of God, we are raised above because the one who was above came down to us to become one with us and to take us into his Father's kingdom today and forever. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Christ is among us. Christ is within us. He is and he always shall be. Christ is among us and he is within us. That's what we are celebrating today. Christ coming to dwell within us. Within men. Glory to God. Glory to God for this glorious day. Glory to God for giving us the joy of not only celebrating but living this reality today. And if we understand and try to live this reality every day of our life, indeed, every day of our life, we are not going to be afraid of anything. And when death comes to us, we'll say, Glory to God. As we could see on Monday evening watching the movie uh, about the life of St. Nectarius, did you see how even if he was so sick, bad leader, when the time came for him to see death, he saw Christ, he saw life, and he was literally raised up from his waist because he was seeing the one whom he saw his whole life and connect him fully and completely, finally, with him. That's what we are going to see on that day, if we see him every day, and make a connection with him every day. So glory to God for giving us the joy of welcoming him within us, within my humanity, within your humanity. Glory to God for this joyous peace and may the Lord give us the joy of having
this of having Christ within us every day. Also, for those of you who are of Greek descent, today is Greek Independence Day. I wish you, Ronia Pula, a very blessed Greek Independence Day. God bless you and rejoice for what happened on that day for receiving freedom from the yoke of from a political and especially from a spiritual yoke. Glory to God for freedom. And now I invite all of you to come for the veneration of the cross and of course to receive a hero and have a very blessed and joyful day. Gloria to God.